Hello, this is Yo Sensei. In today's tutorial, we will learn product rendering using Twin Motion. We will cover both in situation and standalone scenarios. For this demo, we will be using a simple table lamp for it. Okay, let's get started. So, uh, today what we are going for is uh, this kind of uh, product rendering. Uh, and uh, this scenario is a standalone uh, type of scenario uh, object on a plinth and uh, in the background and there is a subtle uh, shadow uh, pattern uh, in the background. That's quite nice. And uh, this scenario, uh, in this case, there is this beautiful uh, soft shadows coming from this uh, natural light coming from this window and then uh, it matches, you know, the background of the uh, color and, uh, you know, super realistic. And uh, and then this is the third scenario uh, where uh, you will see the actual product uh, in a real uh, residential uh, situation. Okay, so let's get to it. So uh, in this folder that uh, has a link uh, to in the description section, uh, we have this uh, these image files and then a uh, three motion and uh, Rhino, and then this one is a FBX file that we will be using. Uh, what you need to have is a Twinmotion 2023.1 preview one uh, that is out right now. And a few months from now, I think this is going to be the Twinmotion 2023 file. And uh, so the new thing is that uh, you get to use these uh, product links uh, type of situation and then monochromatic uh, thing and, uh, you know, uh, different lightings of the product. So uh, this is really useful. So what we're gonna do is uh, open up a uh, display plane. So, uh, so there is super realistic uh, handbag uh, that is uh, placed on the plane. And uh, let's break it down. So if you uh, open the right side of this tutorial, uh, you can turn on and off the handbag. And then uh, under plane, uh, there are different types of plane that you can choose from. Uh, that's quite nice. And uh, you can just display uh, one of them. Um, and then uh, also there is a different types of studio setups. So um, if you go with number two, uh, it gives you this kind of like, you know, uh, beautiful uh, olive color, uh, soft natural light. And then this is more, uh, you know, called uh, straightforward studio thing. So you can uh, play with all of these. And uh, for now, I'm going to turn off the handbags and then go to uh, import and uh, import my file, the FBX file, DP02, uh, week 05 uh, lamp file. And then uh, collapse by material, up to access auto, uh, import. So when you import this object, uh, it will appear uh, on the right side like this, and then uh, you can just move it around and uh, place it uh, on the plane. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is to change uh, materials brass and then um, some kind of like shiny plastic for the uh, shell uh, so I'll go to plastic and rough plastic and then change color uh, like you know kind of uh, dark maroon red ish color and then um, the lighting uh, as a, a neon and then neon 02. Uh, and drop it inside of the uh, shell. Uh, that's great. So uh, that is the light. So, you know, it's pretty straightforward and simple. So, um, a lot of people will be using this template. And then, if you kind of like think of it as a uh, you know, little bit easy to identify, what I would do is go ahead go ahead and change material uh, for this. Well, you can just apply uh, different types of material like uh, stone, monolithic, like oof. Something that is simple. Um, you know, um, Something simple like this. Uh, that would be nice. Okay. So, um, so that's good. And um, so, but we would like to get a shadow uh, of this object in the background uh, to show the, uh, you know, shadow uh, of this. So you can go into library and then create lights. 
and then find omnidirectional light. This light. And then try to put this light right inside of where uh, And um, so uh, that is that. And then uh, we can pull this up. Yeah, different areas. Okay, so that is that. But it's not casting shadows yet. And uh, so what we need to do is to uh, turn on shadows on the only light, only the direction. So that is that. But now uh, we don't have this background. Uh, it's not casting light uh, very well. So what we need to do is to select this background. And then it sets studio setup 03 L curve. And then what you can do is uh, you can change the depth of this. So uh, it comes uh, really, if, it, if it's like really close, it casts like crazy shadows and then as it go back, uh, you know, just uh, something that is really subtle uh, light. And then I can select the Omni light again. And then, you know, I think it's a little bit too bright. So I'm going to try like 100 or maybe like 80. And uh, you can also uh, change the luminosity of the, uh, you know, uh, the lighting, uh, the neon uh, object. So I'll try 50. So it doesn't look, you know, visually too invasive. Uh, so uh, I think something like this will do. So uh, this would be the first uh, scenario uh, of doing it. And then go to media mode. And then I think you should uh, create image first for what we That and then uh, you know refresh. Okay. So uh, using the template, you can go into these uh, different scenes and uh, then just hide the handbags. And then uh, in this case, it's a little bit awkward with the uh, omnidirectional light, so you can hide it in this scene, and then it's more like a you know a daytime type of uh, thing. And then you can refresh to uh, rewrite it, but. One thing that I would avoid is to use use this kind of like super uh, identifiable background. So if you go into this media mode, right, I would definitely like go ahead and change the background materiality. You know, like don't use the green, but like use like some you know, black or uh, completely white or, you know. So try not to be like, very, very using this template as is, you know, uh, but I like, try to customize it so that it will produce your own uh, image. Okay. Inspiration. So uh, Twin Motion has this template that you can find from uh, here uh, that is uh, demo scene, Lake House Retreat. Okay, so when you open a Lake House Retreat model, uh, it's quite nice. So you can uh, just look around. Uh, there is like a lake and a boat and a beautiful landscape. And uh, the house is really nice. Uh, it's a beautiful house. So uh, with a lot of details. So this is bathroom. Uh, this is like a bedroom. This is like a you know living room, kitchen type of space. So we are going to use this kind of like regular like room type of scenario for the, our product, uh, you know, rendering. So what we can do is click on this white uh, book and then you can hide it. And then you can move the record player uh, by turning a uh, turntable, uh, turntable, select the whole turntable and then move this out of the way. Um, and then we will place our model here. So going to import and uh, open the file again like we did before. <laughs> so the way to find your imported model in a busy, busy uh, model like this is go find it first on the outliner on the 
uh, right hand side and press F key on your keyboard. So uh, then uh, that will take you uh, uh, find it. So it, it turned out to be uh, buried underground, so you can bring it up. Uh, move these handles to uh, move it in the horizontal uh, dimensions. You can press F again, and then I'm going to try to place uh, this. And then bring it down, place it. You can change speed by uh, pressing one, two, three key on your keyboard. So now we will change our materials. This and then um, and then find something like uh, shiny plastic. And then uh, change color. Uh, this time I will use this nice green. And uh, so for the valve, uh, I think it will look a little bit awkward uh, in the day scene to have this. So uh, I'm going to just use a glass for the um, light bulb. So it's just a uh, you know umbrella only. So that is that. So now uh, what we are going to do is that uh, you know again try not to use uh, exactly the same as this uh, because. Um, you know, you will, uh, if you just use this, then it will look like somebody else's uh, project, uh, project. So, um, you know, in this case, I would find like some kind of wood uh, that is, you know, a little bit different. Or uh, maybe I'm just going to use like something that, that is like, you know, uh, very simple, like, uh, you know, white wall or something. So, wall covering. Uh, you know, plaster boards. Uh, uh, that paint it for. Okay, so something like that. So it's pretty it's Scandinavian. And uh, I can just go, I don't like this couch, so I'm just going to hide this sofa, and uh, that's quite nice. So now, uh, what we want to do is do a depth of field uh, for this uh, rendering. So what we can do is uh, go into the settings and uh, go to camera and uh, DOF. So depth of the field uh, will allow you to uh, focus, uh, change the focus of the camera so that the background is uh, kind of blurry and the foreground is... Uh, and uh, so in this case, what we can find is that uh, this record player is in focus. So uh, I think we're going to try to try increments of 10. Like, 100 centimeters to 90, 80, 75. Yeah, 75 is a pretty good focus for uh, this object, I think. And uh, maybe I'm going to uh, make it less uh, up, uh, shiny. That's nice in the natural light. Um, and then um, I'm going to like change, you know, this surface. So. And then you can change this, you know, uh, cube, change it to cubic cubies and drop it again. And then change the scale. And then I'm going to make it like white. Okay, that's quite nice. So now you can go ahead and uh, render this in, uh, this image uh, using the uh, you know creating image. This file is quite heavy uh, because um, you know uh, it uses a lot of uh, objects and things. Uh, and then you can run uh, you know the uh, tracer, and uh, I think it will render uh, quite good. 
Okay, so that concludes today's video of finding render scenarios for a product design and uh, you can render as a standalone object rendering versus in-situation rendering scenarios using Twinmotion's new product rendering. <laughs>